Let's go to Cleveland now and talk to Andy Baskin, sports director at, uh, at Channel 5 there, right? And Andy, welcome to the show, man. Thanks for the use of the satellite truck. And uh, we're taking good we know care you're, of it. Uh, big fans of John Elway there in Cleveland, right? Oh, uh, they're huge. All I know is that if I can't hang out with Julius Taylor's dad like you guys are in Times Square, I'm going to Hooters in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, the dad of Julius Thomas, what a guy. Stopped by earlier on the on the AppCast and the webcast and talked to us for three or four minutes about his son playing. It was awesome. But uh, what's going on in Cleveland, man? Have you guys found a quarterback yet? Uh, no, does Adam Gates like still want to Manny? talk to us? Is he, any chance he'll talk to us? <laughs> I Anybody. saw him today. I don't know if he's going to talk to you. Hey, hey Andy, uh, Peyton Manning will be a free agent in three years, so <laughs> get in line now, buddy. Get in oh, line. My God. I, I, we don't even have a team in this thing, and we're getting killed. you got to be kidding me. Adam Gates, well, we got a, you got a 35-year-old quarter, uh, coordinator who won't even talk to us about right. the job here in Cleveland, and now you're ripping on us for not even being able to get Peyton Manning somewhere down the road, even though he's friends with our owner, no. Jimmy Haslam, who might not be around in three years if his pilot flying J uh, situation ends up. He could end up in jail. So great things happening here in Cleveland. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Wait, I, I have a great idea. Um, what was that guy's name? Uh, that guy who, uh, oh, he oh, had the, the Tebow, uh, Tebowing. Tim Tebow's available. What do you think? Yeah. Hey, we could send him your way. He was in New York earlier this, well, actually it was the last time he played was right. with New York. Yes. He was with Philly, didn't work out. He's available. We'll send him your way. Thank you, because we don't have enough of a circus going on here as the last team <laughs> to hire a head coach. Thank you. No, really appreciate it. My pleasure. Well, Andy, you mentioned Adam Gase. He was uh, one of the uh, leading candidates uh, yeah. for the Browns job, and he said he didn't want to uh, talk to the Browns uh, because he was concentrating on, you know, helping Super Peyton Bowl. Manning get a Super Bowl championship, helping yeah. the Broncos win this Super Bowl against Seattle. Uh, but Adam, I mean, we can tell you, what, what a great guy, what a great football mind. Peyton Manning gave him the highest endorsement. Um, but, I, 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 you know, I don't know what happened. I, 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 I can tell you what I think happened. Win he Super walked down the he... hallway what and happened? talked to Tom Heckert, and Tom Heckert said, forget it. You don't want that job. Wait another year, and you'll get another job somewhere <laughs> yeah. else. We're no fools here. Well, That's true. He, here's what I thought. I thought maybe he was in the back of his head thinking, you know what, I'm going to win two Super Bowls with Denver, and by that time Cleveland's going to have chucked or fired their coach. So I can sneak in two years from now. Is that a possibility? Uh, I'll buy that because considering the, the Browns made the monumental mistake of firing a coach after one season when it seemed like everybody was buying, like the players were buying in. You know, they're on a seven-game losing yeah. streak to end the season. Yeah. People weren't happy about it, but I think the players had, had uh, they bought into the head coach and, uh, and yeah. the fans did too because he was a lifelong Browns fan. But uh, we sit here a year later and we have the same garbage we had a year ago. I want to ask you a question. The Browns and Broncos have a storied rivalry. The AFC Championships, the drive, yeah. the fumble, we remember all that stuff. Do AFC cities stick together? And if so, could, could anybody in Cleveland ever find it within themselves to root for the Broncos this week against a very stout Seahawks defense? Funny you should ask that question, because while I was on hold, I went on Facebook and said, any Browns fan still mad at the Broncos <laughs> over the AFC Championship games? Would you like to hear the results? Yeah. Uh, Here we go. Obviously the censored ones. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'll give you this one. If you're still mad, yes, yes, yes. One for each game from Michael. The first time uh, <laughs> only because the Browns knew they got cheated out of their first Super Bowl by bad officiating in the end. Not bitter. Not bitter at all still. Uh, not since Bucky the Wonder Horse retired. Uh, no way. I'm still mad at Carmen Policy and Dwight Clark for ruining this new franchise. So there you have one person that's rooting for the Broncos in this. And Mike Federer says, and I think I can say it because I'm over here, he said, hell yes, I hate the Broncos even more than the Steelers. Now that's big talk right there from one of my guys. So, wow, um, wow. division there's a rival. Lot of Cleveland France, it, when we have nothing to hang our hats on, still be mad at the Broncos and the Steelers for anything that happened. Well, I tell you what, I mean, that, that, that just lives on forever. Because if the Raiders made the Super Bowl and you'd go to, to the to Denver people and say, yeah. hey, I mean, it's an no AFC chance. team, AFC West, you're yeah. kind of brothers here. Would you guys pull for the Raiders in the Super Bowl over the 49ers or whoever? Yeah. I guarantee you. No chance. There would not be a person in Denver would be a Raiders <laughs> fan pulling for them just to win the Super Bowl from the AFC. So, I mean, history, you go back in history, 
it never changes. Yeah. You don't say, ah, I'm not mad at L.A. anymore. No, you hate L.A. for your whole life. The wounds for the drive. The so, wounds are yeah. still and there. My Rich the Carlos, uh, by the way, yeah. uh, is a neighbor of mine, lives three houses down, and uh, he was the barefoot <laughs> kicker. He actually won the game in overtime. That's right. John Elway did not win the game the on the drive. Because ask him if he actually made the field goal. I was there. Ask him if he made it. <laughs> You're right. No, he did. Wow. I asked him. We've talked about the drive. You know, he cut. You know what he does out there is he cuts the grass with one shoe on and then a, and barefoot. So I see him in front of his lawn cutting the grass with with one shoe. Old habits and, uh, die hard. <laughs> and, uh, and he made. He definitely made it. There's no doubt about that. If you ask him, he made it. Well, uh, there's a special place for Rich Carlos here in Northeast Ohio. It's called in the middle of Lake Erie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. I love the rivalries. You love. You love the, the, the bitterness uh, of the rivalries and, and everything, but it's great to talk to you, man, and I hope everything works out in Cleveland with a new coach and a new quarterback. And I mean, it would be great to get the Browns back to where they were the, yeah. how many years ago? Well, years we ago. That, and we, we wish that too. Hey, any chance you guys have a water right. boy that could come here and be our, our offensive coordinator? We'll take anything at this point. Uh, there's, I think there's an intern at Dove Valley who's perfect. I'll hey, send him your way. There's an intern that, uh, that, 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 that starts practice, and Peyton Manning <laughs> throws him more passes in the warm-up than he throws to the receivers. So <laughs> this guy, maybe some of Peyton has rubbed off on him. We'll send him your way and see what can happen. <laughs> that, that would be an upgrade from what we have right now. By the way, I am rooting for the Broncos, so there is someone in Cleveland rooting for the Broncos. Very all right, good. man. Well, it's we, great we to talk to you. We can get. Thanks for uh, taking some time and chatting with us tonight, my friend. No problem. Make sure right. you don't get hit now by those guys talk. coming down the slide behind you. We'll see you. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> all right.